Be good to say what's up guys, what is going on, welcome back, hope y'all are doing well. I don't know what happened to Barcelona that first half, uh, or the second half, uh, that, or that first half, because they uh, they looked like they were the better team. I mean, they, they were the better team by a mile, uh, by a mile, and second half, um, I think the last play that I saw them uh, get close to scoring was... Uh, was it Lewandowski, I think, or oh, the 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 one with uh, yeah, it was Lewandowski just shooting from outside, uh, a pass from I think it was um, Rafinha, or was it Rafinha? No, Cancelo. I don't, I can't even remember. But that was it. After that, there was nothing. There was nothing there, and it was strange because they were playing so so well. I mean, they they had Madrid by the by the scruff, you know, by the scruff of the neck, and and they just let up. I don't know. They were they too tired? I doubt it was that. Um, and Gavi, Gavi was having such a good game. I'm not a fan of Gavi, but man, even though that second goal was, I think, Gavi's fault, uh, a lot of people are saying, who was it, uh, Romeo should have, uh, marked, uh, should have picked up his man, which was, um, Bellingham, yes, but I also think, uh, Modric, uh, Gavi had Modric, and for some reason, there were, there were already two people on Carvajal, and I don't know why Gavi decided to, to make it three, three on Carvajal, so, uh, besides that, I thought Gavi had an, an amazing game, and especially against Bellingham. Uh, he was doing such a good job against Bellingham. Just uh, wouldn't let, yeah, he wouldn't let him play. He was constantly hovering him. I don't know if he was in charge of uh, man marking Bellingham, but he did a really, really good job uh, in terms of just following him. And he was any any time Bellingham had the ball, he saw Gavi there, and he wasn't as sloppy as he as I at least I think uh, he is in in a lot of his plays when. You know, he's a little bit too uh, high strung. He's a little bit too, he commits, he overcommits. Um, and he uh, he fouls a lot for no reason. Uh, just uh, in places and positions where he's not supposed to, where he can go without fouling, fouling that, that player. But I think, I thought he played amazingly, uh, especially that first half. And throughout the second half as well, uh, he had a really good game. I would even say, go as far to say as like, he could have been man of the match for me, Gavi. Uh, had uh, Bellingham not have scored, uh, I would have ge- I would have gone with uh, Gavi. Uh, Gavi. Um, so yeah, so it was strange to see Barcelona not be able to score. They missed uh, that sitter. Uh, what's his name? Fermin Lopez. Fermin, I think Lopez. Um, the uh, the the one Gavi again stealing the ball from Cruz. I think it was yeah from Cruz. Tony Cruz. And I don't know why he chose the first post. I mean that kind of. Maybe would have it would have made sense that he in in surprising Keppa, but I mean that was wide open. I, I don't think Keppa even if he said, "Yo, I'm going over there," I don't think Keppa would have been uh, able to reach that ball. So uh, yeah, they had a, a bunch of plays. They had that one. Um, I can't remember the other ones, but they had. I mean, they were just playing way better, way better, and they were producing a lot more. The the really really nice skill move from Felix on uh, Rudiger. Um, I thought he should have shot the ball before. Uh, cause Car- and Carvajal did a really good job at following him, catching up to him. Uh, and that's my only complaint for uh, when it comes to Felix, that he's not exactly as fast as he looks. He looks like he's athletic. Like He looks like he's very fast. Um, but yeah, he doesn't have that, that burst of speed that you, you know, like Sané does or M- Mbappe. I know that's asking too much. But um, yeah, I mean, they had a number of chances. They had a number of chances to be able to score. And then uh, Madrid were just imprecise, sloppy. Uh, Bellingham was having a hard uh, a hard day, a difficult day, uh, especially that first half. And, um, you know, despite that 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 sick, amazing goal that he scored, um, which is weird because it when And the, I, I love that they showed different angles of that, of that goal, of that shot. It, it just seemed like Ter Stegen could have done a better job at, at a blocking that shot. I think he could have blocked that shot. I, I almost want to want to say that, you know, that was all on Ter Stegen and he should have blocked that shot because he did, right before that, he did an amazing job at blocking the shot from Chuameni. Now, you can probably say that, oh, that ball wasn't as, uh, didn't have as much power as uh, Jude Bellingham shot. Maybe. Could be. I mean, it looked like a really strong shot. Uh, so I don't know why he couldn't, I know there was somebody in, um, what do you call it, or maybe he wasn't anticipating that because there was somebody blocking his, uh, his line of vision but still he i thought he could have gotten that because he even extended his arm following the ball but for some reason and it's not like the ball had a you know like a like it was a knuckle bar like the wind uh, moved it around it was just 
so strong, so powerful, and maybe so unexpected that he wasn't able to get there. Um, but still, yeah, that, that shot was uh, amazing. And I don't think uh, a Courtois, an Onana, or whatever would have blocked that shot. Um, I think Ter Sagan would have blocked that shot, but t for some reason today, it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't in the cards. Um, and then we have, uh, what's his name, uh, Vinicius, man. And I've seen him do this in a lot of games. That's my complaint. Like, I'm not saying, you know, nothing warrants people insulting him, especially racist insult insults. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't know what he was playing at because none of those, I mean, more than half of those uh, so-called fouls were not fouls. They were not foul. Except the Ferran Torres, the MMA grapple, uh, the, the takedown, that was a foul. <laughs> that was definitely a foul. Everything else was, I don't know, nothing. There was nothing, you know. It's, it's, it's almost embarrassing to see a player like that. And that just takes away, you know, that's one of those things that, I feel embarrassed to say, yeah, I watch football or I like football. <laughs> like, you know, I have to kind of cower and, you know, do one of these, right? Because uh, it's just, it's embarrassing. And, and and the same way they, I don't know, they implemented the, that rule that you can't do this anymore. Otherwise, you're the one that's going to get the card. Uh, when the player the, complains and he, he's asking for a card, they should do something about that because that, and it's really hard, I guess. I get it to, to gauge that, what is not considered a foul. But I mean, all those, the one with Arujo, the one with Gabby also, like I said, Gabby, I thought Gabby was very meticulous and uh, very careful about what kind of fouls he committed. So, and none of that was a foul, like, except that, like I said, the Ferran Torres and maybe there was one more that I can't remember. But um, yeah, man, he, I don't know if it's because, you know, Bellingham's getting, I don't know, this, this is just my theory, like Bellingham's getting, he's getting so much attention and, you know, obviously he being, um, uh, Vinicius uh, being, uh, a senior or just you know uh, play, having played longer in Real Madrid that he feels like he's the one that should be scoring all those goals that Bellingham's scoring I don't know if there's a little bit of jealousy uh, obviously he he would not admit that um, but in that case I mean you have all this attention on Bellingham so that kind of leaves you free to do your own thing too I think he could also score as many goals as as Bellingham and not be jealous if he is maybe he's not right maybe I got it all wrong but uh, yeah, just man, do what you do best, dude. You know, like just just play, just play. I mean, you got that speed. You, you know, he's not just a a, a one trick pony. You know, he's not just about his speed. He can finish now. Something that I remember in the past, people were complaining about. So just play, just play, move on, and just play, dude. Just you know, the team needs you, right? The team needs you. Um, I wasn't too convinced with the substitutions. Obviously, everybody knows Rafinha coming in that was a joke uh yeah yeah i know in the past rafinha has scored he's assisted but i i don't see him for this barcelona side I, I i see him as a deficit him coming in it's a deficit it's a minus for barcelona i understand the laminia mall coming in i'm also okay with the uh, felix coming out because he was he had a an okay game but the second half he wasn't uh he wasn't participating as much so i was okay with him leaving um, and then that second goal, like it said, yeah, that was to me that was Gavi's uh, fault and uh, Romeo, but mostly for me Gavi because I don't know why he didn't follow uh, Modric. Uh, Modric, even if you leave someone like Modric alone inside the box, I mean, you're asking for it. You're just asking for it, you know. You're just asking for it, um, even if it wasn't because the second goal he got a little bit lucky. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bellingham. When the f ball fell to him, he. He didn't even like kick it right. It was kind of like he wasn't ex he wasn't expecting that ball too, and just his reaction. I mean, it, it all it all happened fast, but his reaction was one where it was like this weird kick and through the legs. He wasn't planning to do that. He just kicked it for the sake of kicking it. Um, yeah, and uh, just unfortunate, it went right through his legs, uh, right through Ter Stegen's legs. So, it, it, I'm not a Barca fan. I'm not a Madrid fan. I just didn't enjoy seeing Madrid play this bad, especially in that first half, knowing the the, the team that they have and, and have, having seen them have played, having seen them play really well in the past. And it's not like Barcelona are this amazing team. They have a good team, no doubt. They have a good team, but they should have been more, more or less toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know? And that first half was just pitiful. It was just pitiful seeing Madrid uh, play so uh, disorderly, without any identity. Um, almost scared, uh, 
depressed and nervous, anxious, right? I know they're not playing in the Bernabeu, but but still, there's no reason to play that sloppy, you know, that, um, dare I say, amateur. I don't know, there was just so many, so many mistakes, and uh, yeah, they, they didn't seem like themselves, and Barcelona, exquisite. I mean, it was, it was great. It was great from Barcelona. You could see a team that has identity, knew, knew what they were doing, knew what they were going after, very confident, and I didn't get that from Madrid. Very, very dissatisfied, very, um, like I said, uh, you know, lacking, lacking everything, lacking so much. So um, other than that, really good um, game in the end, uh, really good uh, finish to the end, and uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.